Shalom Chavrim. Wanted to take a few minutes here just to really kind of update you on my daughter. I know there's been many of you out there that have been praying for her. And me and my wife, we thank you tremendously for those prayers. And um, uh, again, I know you guys tell me don't apologize for not getting some of these videos together, but just things on my heart though to get the videos out. So, uh, so I won't apologize, but I do want to tell you though the miraculous events that have taken place. One kind of give you a little background. Our daughter Arielle, the one you see singing in the video there that uh, we posted on the internet, uh, is four years old. Uh, she's not quite five as of yet, uh, still a few months away. And she has had in the last uh, year or less than a year, she's had severe kidney trouble uh, with infections and doctors have just not been able to, to narrow it down why she's had them and major, major kidney infections. Um, the last time she had one was about a month and a half ago, running at, a, it's, she went almost 106 in her body temperature. That's how severe uh, the infection was. Uh, she was hospitalized for about a week on intravenous um, antibiotics. And even with the intravenous antibiotics, she still had a difficult time uh, getting over the infection. In fact, it took about um, three or four days intravenously before the fever would break, just how serious her, her kidney troubles were. Her, her one, one of her kidneys was enlarged, uh, that they saw from the ultrasounds. And, and of course, she's just gone one infection after another. And uh, here again, all of a sudden, the same symptoms that always start up. Uh, she'll, get, she'll get a headache, leg aches. Leg aches come first, then the headache. And once she's got the headache, we know it's going to be bad. And so we had taken her into the doctor. Uh, the very next morning, she was already running 103, 104 temperature. Uh, we could control it somewhat. The doctor at that point said that uh, we definitely got to do further testing. Uh, he gave her an injection of an antibiotic, sent her back home. Uh, the next morning, the temperature again had skyrocketed almost to 104, 103.6. My wife took her immediately to the doctor that morning. And when he saw her then, he examined her and he said, this has gone to her kidneys yeah, she's in serious condition. He said she's got to go to a hospital immediately. And he prepared my wife. He said, you need to realize, he said, she's going to be hospitalized. We've got to get her on intravenous antibiotics. The, the injections I've done is not even touching this. And it's gotten much worse just in the last uh, 24 hours. So my wife then took her uh, along with her sister. They rushed her to the Children's Hospital in Fort Myers. And uh, they immediately took her back. Uh, she was in very serious condition at the time. The doctor had written up for the, for the emergency room that she had to be admitted, what the problems were, the test, all the tests were positive. Again, that morning, uh, her test, her urine tests were all positive, that she was having severe trouble with the kidneys and the infection. And um, they did a urine test and a blood test immediately on her. And, Within one, this was one hour after leaving the doctor's office in Fort Myers by the time they got to the hospital. And the, the, the practitioner came back in, this, in this case here is a practitioner in the ER, and um, she said, I don't understand this. And she said, quite frankly, had I didn't, if I hadn't had the doctor's statement in writing, she said, I would believe that you brought a child here that there was nothing wrong with. Um, she said, we've checked her urine, we checked her blood, and it's clean. There's no infection in the child at all. And my wife, also being a nurse, um, a nurse midwife from Slovakia, uh, same thing as a practitioner in the United States, uh, she began to refute the, doc the doctor about it. She said, you know, they just tested her. She's positive and she's in serious condition. And, um, and the, the, the practitioner at the, at the emergency room said, I know what he's got here and I know that she tested positive. She said, but I'm telling you that this child has got clean blood, clean urine. And she said, I'm not just talking about a little bit clean. 
She said, there's no leukocytes whatsoever as if this child is in perfect condition. And it was even at that moment that my wife began to notice that something had changed in our daughter. And she was like, fine, nothing was wrong with her any longer. And, uh, and the practitioner said, you know, or, or, or then actually my sister-in-law said to the uh, practitioner, she says, well, no doubt the, the doctor uh, that the, the treated her knew what he was doing and the antibiotic helped. And the practitioner said, there is no way the antibiotic would have gotten rid of her infection within one hour. She said, even though he giving that, that injection, her leukocytes would still be there. It would still be a problem. There would still be an infection. And she said it would have contributed a little bit. She said, but it would, there's just, she says, absolutely impossible. Not from the shot the day before, nor this one, either one. There would still be the trace there. And she said, this child, as if nothing has ever happened to her whatsoever. And in fact, when my wife took her, her, her urine for the doctor, uh, she knew from the, the odor that the urine had put off that she still had a massive infection. And, uh, and so the practitioner says, I can't explain it. I have no answer whatsoever. It makes no sense to me at all. Uh, she said, but to tell you that you take, her, take her home. And so my wife asked, you know, should we maybe give her another, uh, should we give her maybe another injection for the antibiotic, you know, because, you know, I know as a, she says, as, you know, in my country, this is my profession, you don't just do it like an antibiotic, you don't just go in there and do it a couple of times, you, you'd complete the course, and on the injection, you have to do three to five, and she's only had two. And the practitioner told my wife, she said, in all good conscience, as a medical professional, I cannot give a perfectly healthy child. She said, you, have, you don't understand what I'm telling you. She said, this child's tests are so perfect. She said, it's like a newborn child, perfect, without any traces of anything, in, in, neither in her blood nor in her urine. And it was later that afternoon that my wife really began to think about what had happened. And then she began to realize, and I had not heard this testimony as of yet. I just knew that she got went home and everything was fine. You know, so I had not actually heard the testimony myself, but when my wife shared all of this with me. I said to my wife, do you realize that the Lord Yeshua visited that child at that hospital? Think of the prayers that went forth. And I even told my wife, you know how many people have emailed me from YouTube that have said to me, Steve, you're going to get a miraculous testimony from, it's going to be a miraculous event of healing that, that your daughter will receive. And uh, of course, Friday was when she was, uh, when she went to the hospital, it was Friday, by the way, just for those of you that are curious about this, Friday was when she was rushed to the hospital with her doctor saying that this child will be in the hospital for a while. Prepare yourself for the weekend because you're not going anywhere. That's how serious her, her, her condition has gotten. It had worsened that much worse overnight. And, um, and then one hour after that diagnosis, and she was 103.6 in his office temperature. And he said her kidneys were inflamed. Unbelievable. Uh, and then one hour later, child walked out of the hospital or was at the hospital and within an hour of that time walked out of the hospital perfectly well by the grace of God and I will say as well for my Jewish brethren that uh, I know there are there's Israeli brothers that watch these videos here I did pray to Hashem in the name but Hashem Yeshua HaMashiach just as it was when years ago when I was working at heavy equipment and I hear God speak to me audibly and said, pray for your mother's eyes. A woman that was a Jewish lady that was 20, had blind as a bat, no vision whatsoever. And he restored her sight the same day, 2020 vision. So I know he's Moshiach and he's the same. Yem hazeh etomo vehayom veleolam. Ani me'en And I take I ask you, my brothers, consider it. This is the hour that Yeshua is going to make himself known to our people. 
And it's incredible what he'll do. He hears our prayers. And I know he's heard our prayers. That's why we're in our homeland. And one other thing I just want to share with you real quick before I let you go. And then, then this week here, I, by God's grace, I'll get these other videos put together for you and get them out to you. We also found out today, uh, I was talking to my wife, we, we got into family history and stuff. And while we were in the process of it, my wife was telling me about her mother. We were talking about our daughter. Why does our daughter have black eyes? My eyes are like a greenish color. My wife is a hazel. Her, dad are, her dad's eyes are blue. But our daughter, like my mother, were black. You know, and I told her, I said, well, you know, my mother being Jewish, she had black eyes. And she said, well, you know, my parents weren't, you know. And then we got into talking about the names. Well, come to find out, on my wife's mother, her mother was actually Jewish. Her name, Ziman, is a Jewish name. When she told me her mother's maiden name, I said, you don't realize that's a Jewish name. I said, and I got on Yad Vashem to prove to her that it was so. And when I told her that one, she says, oh my gosh. She said, you know, there's been speculation about my father's mother being Jewish. And she gave me that name as well. And I forget what her, what, what, what her maiden name was, but I looked up hers as well. And sure enough, Hungarian Jews. And he was born in Hungary. And uh, she said, you know, they were shepherds is what they were. And she said, there was always talk in my father's family that they were actually Jews. So anyway, God bless you. Uh, it's a great miracle and great to know that I kept it in the family. I married a Jewish girl. God bless you. Baruch Hashem. Believe it. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And for the Christians that are trying to learn that in Hebrew, it's Hu Gamze Ve'etemol. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Baruch Hashem. God bless you.